Welcome back to Maritime Foam with me, Anthony Stewart. I'm doing another birthday loadout video. Uh, a friend of mine contacted me and said, hey, I'd like to do a party for six to seven uh, kids, 13 to 14. Uh, you know, would you be interested in helping me out? And yes, I would. Where last time uh, I was younger kids, eight to 11, we were using darts, uh, blasters like the disruptor which I love this time we are using rival balls so instead of 70 feet per second uh, all of these blasters fire around a hundred feet per second uh, I'm gonna do a quick overview of all these blasters my suggestion for the party would be mostly springers uh, springers that means blasters that you pull back prime and I'm gonna do a quick run through some of these spring blasters that I would love to take to uh, to this party. We're gonna start with secondary blasters, sidearms. We'll start with the knockout. This is the very fir first rival blaster that I uh, ever bought. Uh, it's a single shot. It's kind of the rival equivalent of a jolt. Uh, I don't have a jolt handy, but that's like the little tiny one that I'm sure you've seen in toy stores before, a little orange blaster. You put a dart in the end. Uh, and that's it. This is, it has a really, really cool look to it. Uh, you press this to open the breech, put a ball in here, close the breech, prime it, and fire. Once your main blaster runs out of ammo, you can have this in your pocket or stash somewhere and grab it and still have a couple shots while you're reloading. Uh, another great secondary or you know for a birthday party like this maybe even a primary is a chronos the chronos has an internal magazine uh it holds up to five i'm going to use the magic of editing to fill this up and now it's full uh close the blaster like that again aim and fire so this one a little bit quicker to get your next shots off the Artemis is, the Artemis is kind of interesting. It's kind of in a weird middle ground between. This actually holds 30 balls in an internal magazine. I know this looks like clips, but it's not. Uh, you open this here, you load them in, prime it like this, and you have 30 shots. I mean, this is kind of ideal for a spring powered blaster on the field. The Hades, uh, we'll see if I remember the names of all these. Same idea as the Artemis, but this one holds 60. Uh, so pretty cool. You load that all up. Same thing here. Uh, a great one to have on the field. This is very high capacity for a Springer. Springer blasters don't usually have uh, a capacity like this. So this one's great. This one is the Roundhouse. Uh, this one holds 15 rounds. Again, an internal magazine, which I really like. You open this up. We put the rounds in here. We tuck them all in, prime it. Uh, this is a really good one. It's kind of in that middle ground between the Kronos uh, and the size of the Artemis at half capacity. From there, this is a lot of blasters. Uh, from there, uh, we'll go to some shotguns. Oh, I just picked this one up in a lot. Um, I forget what it's called. How embarrassing. Whatever. It's the rival shotgun. Uh, this one does use a clip. So clip goes in here. Holds 12. But this one actually fires two balls at once. It would be a lot better if I actually showed that. I'll do that with the magic of editing. All right. I have two in here. Fires two at once. So you really only get six shots, but you are getting two balls out there. The takedown, a cool little blaster, uh, has an internal magazine of six. Uh, put them in the top there and has a really nice form factor and stuff. This one's really fun to carry around. It kind of looks like a shotgun, but only fires one at a time. Same as this, this is the Saturn. Uh, the Saturn has even more of that shotgun look. Uh, will hold 10, I believe. Uh, and yeah, it, again, it only fires one at a time. Uh, you have this cool, this cool blaster. Um, what are you called again? There's so, there's so many. 
Um, what have I done? Anyway, we have this one, pump action, uh, runs on a clip, uh, has kind of a really cool form factor to it. Uh, the stock can, the stock can collapse down, so it's a little bit more compact and is really comfortable for an adult. All of these are very, uh, you know, more comfortable for adults or larger hands. I really wouldn't recommend most of these to really, really young nerfers unless they've been doing it for quite a while. My kids aren't super pumped to be hit by most of these. The, the, the old, they're, they're okay. They're okay with it. They're warming up to it, but not, they don't like it as much, which I get. That is a very, very quick overview. Uh, I'm going to have four or five Kronos, four or five of the small knockouts, so the two pistols. So lots of variety for, especially for six or seven, I've, there's going to be plenty uh, for them to try and have fun with. And I think I'll do the same thing that I did for the younger kids. I think older kids would enjoy this too, where uh, I am going to bring a couple of the flywheel blasters and let them play around with those, but firing into like a pop-up pod booth like I did for the last party, uh, so they get to check them out. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick look at a couple of those ones right now. Here we have the Percy's. The Percy's is one of my favorite unmodified blasters uh, off the shelf. It's so good. Uh, it does not, it does not normally come with this top hopper. This is a 3D printed hopper from out of darts to take the capacity from 50 to about 160, 170. Um, I will probably remove the hoppers when I take them uh, for the party. I we just, I don't need that many rival rounds. Rival rounds are a bit more expensive than the darts. Darts, it's fine. Rival rounds are, you're talking $26 for 110 of them. That's just too, too expensive to want to lose them. Uh, but this blaster, so fun. Uh, so definitely I will have this in the, I'm gonna try to work this into one of the games as well so that they get to try it. And I, and I will definitely have kind of a, a target range type of thing for them to try this idea. Because I think part of the fun of it is just getting to try every blaster that maybe you've ever seen on a shelf. Yeah. Honorable mention, uh, we have the Nemesis. Uh, this was this was before the Percy's. The rate of fire is only five balls a second compared to eight. Now I'm just doing show and tell on flywheel blasters. This is the chaos. And you know what? If I do any sort of fixed base uh, mounted weapon uh, game idea, I'm definitely gonna use the Prometheus. I think the batteries are a little bit low. Uh, but this blaster is really, really cool. Um, oh yeah, that battery is low, hence the red light. So don't judge it on that low fire rate that I just showed. And then last up, uh, I'm not gonna dig it all down, uh, but I am going to take, I'll, I'll put in a clip from the last party that I did of the Jupiter with the Proton Pack 3D printed blaster. It fires 20 to 30 balls per second. The Proton Pack holds up to almost 500. That one was a hit at the birthday party I did last both to fire and be hit by it. So that's a that's a quick overview, I guess, of all of the blasters that I would bring to a party for that 13, 14 year old range. So for this party, just like the last one, I'd recommend doing three to four uh, sets of games, a couple area of control, that fun one with the app where you're rushing forward and you're trying to control a timer uh, for a set amount of time and be the first one to control it the longest. Um, some you know team-based elimination some capture the flag and then after that people get to play around with the jupiter and i'll probably take the caliburn again which is that 3d printed blaster from captain slug that fires darts a couple hundred feet per second so that one uh that one was a good time too one thing i'm definitely learning is i'm going to have a really hard time uh ever narrowing it down and not taking way more than i would need Part of the fun for me, and I think what's a little bit different, is bringing that variety of cool stuff to try. Uh, I've seen a few packages online in different areas and different parts of the country or in the US where you can do rentals or uh, blaster parties, but they all have the same one. It's 10 of this, ten of one kind and maybe 10 of another. Um, I think it's kind of neat to be able to mix it up and have different kinds and see which ones you like and which ones you don't. That's my opinion. And 
I can also see why people make it simple and only have a set amount of blasters. Any questions, let me know. I'm Anthony Stewart, and this is Maritime Foam.